So the first of the emergent properties of water I want to talk about is um, its ability to um, adhere to other molecules or to cohesively stick to itself. So there's two words that we need to talk about first, and the words are cohesion and adhesion. Um, and these are almost always going to be talked about together, but you need to know the difference between them. So the first thing you need to know is that cohesion is when water sticks to other water molecules. Um, and that that's going to be through hydrogen bonding. So I'm going to have a water hydrogen bound to another water, um, hydrogen bonded to another water molecule. So it's just the attraction between the water molecules. Uh, Adhesion is when water sticks to non-water molecules. And it's going to happen the same way. It's also going to be through hydrogen bonding. It's just instead of the oxygen from a water molecule forming a hydrogen bond with the hydrogen of another water molecule, it's between the negative side of a water molecule with the positive side of something else. And that's really it. So in this example, I'm going to have the water um, adhering to some type of plant molecule that's not water. So this is important. Uh, cohesion and adhesion are super important, actually, in biology. And the, um, there are dozens, literally dozens, of times that we're going to talk about this this year. But the one that I want to talk about is the one that we're going to be focusing on the most in the next couple weeks, which is actually going to be transpiration of plants. So transpiration of plants is the process where water is pulled up from the roots um, of the plant. So the water is going to move up uh, through the roots of this tree. And then it's going to be pulled up through the xylem, which is one of the vascular tissues. So just think of it as like a blood vessel, but it just carries water in the tree. And it's going to distribute that water to all the leaves and all the branches and throughout the entire tree. So I'm going to have my water um, coming up through the tree, through the roots, and it's going to move up and it's eventually going to exit the leaves on the undersides of the leaves, there's these small holes called um, stomates, and the water is actually going to move up all the way through the tree through trans through through transpiration, and then it's eventually going to um, to exit through the bottoms of the leaves through those holes. And we're going to talk about that at length um, in class, and we're going to do a couple different labs on it. But basically, we need to talk about how does the water move, like because there's no little pump in there, right? So let's look at a blown up view of some of this vascular tissue, some of this xylem. Um, so the transpiration uh, of water, that's what we're looking at. So I'm going to, this is my zoomed in view. So let me draw my xylem with my brown lines, and then I'm going to have my water. So moving up through the xylem, I'm going to have the water actually sticking to themselves. So the water molecules are going to cohesively be bound to one another. So as one water molecule moves, the next is going to get pulled up, right? Or as water molecules get pulled up, they're going to keep shoving. So the water is going to move as a column, right? Um, the next thing you need to know is that the water is going to adhere to the sides of the xylem. So it's gonna, through hydrogen bonding, it's also gonna stick to the sides of the actual plant vascular tissue. And that's that's adhesion. And so the combination of cohesion and adhesion, what's gonna happen is as that water flows into the roots, you're gonna get a column of water basically moving up through capillary action, um, which is just when you, like you take a, a piece of paper towel and the water travels up through it, it's basically the same thing. But this is happening on, on a grand scale inside of all plants. That's how water gets from the roots of any plant to the leaves of any plant. So that's cohesion and adhesion. Now, the next thing we wanna talk about with cohesion is going to be surface tension. So surface tension, you've all seen before. Um, it's when wa water molecules are being held together by, um, by the, the hydrogen bonding between them. So let's look at an example of, of surface tension and let's talk about um, why, it, why we're talking about the surface, not just the whole cohesive water. So the molecules at the surface, at that top layer, don't have any water molecules on top of them. So instead what's happening is all of those, those, those hydrogen bonds are pulling them kind of down. So the, the surface molecules are going to be pulled in towards the center of the water 
uh, by cohesion. So let's look at a picture of that. So I've got my beaker and I'm going to fill it with water molecules. And uh, in the center, what would happen is all of those white lines are, those are going to indicate the hydrogen bonding. Everything's pulling together, right? But if we look at one of the water molecules at the surface, they're only being pulled kind of next to each other and then down. There's nothing that's pulling it up. So it kind of forms a skin on the top. And you've seen that in real life. If you take and you put some water on your desk, it'll form a little bubble. So let's fill that in with my water molecules and we'll put in all my cohesive forces right there, all those hydrogen bonds. Then what you get is you get, those are a normal cohesion. Um, you get these bonds that I'm, I'm looking at the top. That's going to kind of be that, that surface tension. And it's still cohesion, but what you're, what you're seeing is you're seeing the actual hydrogen bonding that's leading to the surface tension. Now, why do we care? In biology. I mean, it's cool, like, because you've all seen pictures of the water strider, right? Well, this is why we care in biology. Surface tension is biologically important because it keeps water in droplets, and water droplets are important. How water moves is important, and having water droplets do raindrops, those are all important because, you know, insects, other aspects of the, the, um, the food web, they're going to depend on that, um, that cohesive nature of water. And on, um, and on being able to walk across that water. So that's surface tension. Um, and uh, hopefully that's pretty clear. I think everybody's seen examples of surface tension before. So that's really all I want to talk about on cohesion, adhesion, and surface tension. If you have any questions, come on in.